Close to 3,000 Black Lives Matter supporters no marched in Holland today. We're young Mexican women, and we thought we have to speak up about it. And a community as conservative as Holland, that's a big thing. The minority is the majority in terms of numbers, but we're still the minority. And it's just how it is. I'm 17 years old. What has changed in those 17 years that I've been alive? And really nothing. Holland is a small town. My parents are immigrants. They didn't know any English. I had to translate things. I'm talking about legal documents at like the age of like eight, nine. Going to college has been my dream. With Kalamazoo, you're looking at a total cost of 65454 per year. I want her to have a better future, more than what I had. Michigan leads all U.S. states in COVID-19 cases per population. My quarantine landed on possibly the worst week out of the school year. Worst week. I missed my SAT, my ACT, and then my MSTEP. I always thought my senior year would be like how a high school musical was. <laughs> but it's really not that. I feel like it's been quite a dread. I want to prove everyone who thought I couldn't make it wrong that despite my circumstances, I can push through and go to college. I've been going to the Boys and Girls Club since I was like in second grade. I got nominated for Youth of the Year. Our finalists, our state Youth of the Year, will receive a $2,500 scholarship. And in spite of everything the pandemic has thrown at us this year, the Holland High School local dimensions are indeed still standing. We all had this conversation together just like a few hours before we would have canceled the last show. But we were like, we've had so many things taken away from us. We can't stop now.